friends, so I am going to read you this nonfiction book, and the title is Seed to Plant, and it's written by Kirsten Baird Rattini. Now, since this is a nonfiction book, we are going to see some of the nonfiction text features in this book, like real photographs, table of contents, there are labels on the pictures, and there are even captions on some of these pictures. Let's see. There's a caption right there. So as we look through this book, you're going to be able to see some of those nonfiction text features. All right. Seed to Plant, the National Geographic Kids Book. And we're going to read the whole book from the front to the back cover so we don't need the table of contents. What is a plant? A plant is a living thing. It stays in one place, but it grows and changes just like you. Plants can be big or small. Some have flowers. Other also, others also grow fruit. Trees are plants too. This is a fern, a white water lily, a tangerine tree, and an orchid. Plants are a big part of our world. Farmers grow fruits and vegetables. These plants give us food. Some plants can be used to make clothing. Your t-shirt is made from cotton plants. Here is a, a farmer in the cotton field picking the cotton off the cotton plant. Other plants are cozy homes for animals, like right here is a bear and a tree. Parts of a plant. You can use your body to remember the parts of a plant. Feet are like roots. Your body is like a stem and the arms are like leaves. See? Roots hold the plant in the ground. The stem helps the plant stand up tall. Leaves soak up the sunlight. How does a plant begin? One, let's dig in. Most plants start as a seed. Two, the seed splits open. A shoot pushes out. This is called germination. Three, a new plant is beginning. A seedling starts to grow. Roots reach down into the soil. A stem pushes up into the air. You can kind of see the life cycle of the plant as it gets bigger and bigger. The roots down here, the stem, and then all the leaves. A plant grows. Just like you, a plant grows bigger and bigger. The roots spread out and down into the soil. The stem gets thicker and stronger. More leaves and branches grow. It's letting us know a buzzword here is soil. And soil is the top layer of the earth, like the top of the dirt. And that's what the plants grow in. What do plants need? Plants need these things in order to grow. Soil, water, food, sunlight, air, and space. Water and some food come from the soil. The roots soak them up. Sunlight and air enter through the leaves. Plants use them to make more food. Plants also need space to grow. So you can see the sunlight comes from the sun and then it gets air and down here in the soil it's got all the roots that soak up the water and the food. And it also needs space because if you had a bunch of plants right next to each other, they wouldn't be able to spread out and get their water and their food from the soil, or they wouldn't be able to get as much sunlight or air. Fun plant facts. One, this palm tree seed can weigh as much as a fourth grader. It's the heaviest seed in the world. Two, scrub-a-dub in the tub. Plants are used in many soaps and shampoos. Three, the paper from this book was made from trees, which is a plant. Four, one sunflower can make as many as 1,000 seeds. Five, bamboo grows the fastest of any plant. It can grow as tall as a three-year-old kid in one day. Six, the tallest living tree is taller than the Statue of Liberty in New York. Flowers bloom. Many plants grow flowers. 
They start as a bump called a bud. The bud slowly opens, petals gently unfold. Surprise, it's a flower. Sticky pollen. Flowers make a sticky powder called pollen. Pollen sticks to birds and bees when they fly from flower to flower. Then the pollen rubs off on other flowers. This is called pollination. It helps flowers make seeds. Pollination is the moving of pollen from one flower to another, and that's what helps the seeds grow. You can see all those yellow spots right there all over that bee. That is the pollen that he got from this flower right here. It sticks to him. Seeds. Plants keep seeds in different places. Many plants grow a case around their seeds. The case is called a pod. Peas and maple trees seeds grow in pods. Orange seeds are different. Their seeds are on the inside, but strawberry seeds are on the outside. Now the seeds take a trip. Some float on the wind. Others are carried away by animals. The seeds fall to the ground. Soon they sprout or germinate. A new plant begins. Right here is a picture of a dandelion and these seeds scatter in the wind. A squirrel is holding this large seed and a bird carries the berry with the seed inside of it. So it shows you how some animals can help with spreading the seeds. Pass the plants, please. People and animals eat plants to stay healthy. How many plants did you eat today? It says right here, a panda eats a bamboo plant and she is eating a watermelon. Watermelon is a fruit that comes from a plant. Make your garden grow. You can grow your own bean plant. Ask a grown-up for help. You'll need one lima bean seed, a cup of water, a fourth inch flower pot, so it's about this tall, or you could use a glass jar or even a paper cup if you don't have one. And you need soil. Remember, that's like dirt, the top layer of the dirt. So you're going to start by soaking your seed in a cup of water overnight. Then fill the flower pot with soil and push your seed down in the soil about one inch. Add a little water to moisten the soil because remember, plants need water. And then place the pot in a warm, sunny space because they need sun and add a little bit of water whenever the soil gets dry. Your seedlings should sprout within about one week. All right, what in the world? We're gonna look at these six pictures and decide what are they? Here's a hint on this one. This opens into a flower. What is that called? Number two, this part of the plant takes in sunlight and air. Is that the leaves, the stem, the roots? Think about that. This flower can make up to 1,000 seeds. What is that, that flower called? Here's another one. This falls and waters the plants. Oh, I think you guys know what that one is. Here's the hint. This buzzes as it flies from flower to flower. What is that? And six, this has seeds on the outside. What is that? All right, friends, that is the end of our book. I want you to find someone in your house and I want you to tell them at least two things that you learned about plants in this book.